Did you buy a barlow to increase the size of the objects in the eyepiece or in the camera but not sure how to do it? I will show you. This video is dedicated to beginners and first I will show you how to connect the barlow with an eyepiece so to use visually and then to use with a camera so with the AA or astrophotography. Let's jump into it. For visual we can use the one and a quarter barlows. This one is a 3x barlow and this one is a 2x barlow. So that means this doubles and this triple the magnification. To use this barlow with an eyepiece is very simple. You just grab the eyepiece and insert into the barlow. When you increase the space between the barlow and the eyepiece, it will increase the magnification. So if you have a spacer here or another thing like a diagonal in a refractor, for example, between the two pieces, this will increase. It will be more. In this case, the 3x will be increased. And if you reduce the space between the eyepiece and the barlow, it will also reduce the magnification. You can unscrew the lens from the barlow and then you can screw it to the eyepiece. See? Like a filter. The same happened to the 2 inch eyepieces. This one from Explore Scientific, 2X. And this PowerMate 4X from Televu. It works the same way. You take up the cap, you grab the eyepiece and insert into the barrel. Okay? And it works like that. And you also can do the same as before with a one and a quarter barlow, which is to unscrew this part and screw directly to the eyepiece. See? This will make the barlow decrease the power. So, to use with the magnification the barlow was made for, in this case it's 4x, but it could be other magnification, you use it like this with the eyepiece inside. This is what is recommended. Then you can do these little tricks, separate the barlow from the eyepiece to increase the magnification. Be aware that to take the full magnification from a barlow, you got to have the perfect conditions, or at least good conditions, which means the sky has to have good seeing, the atmosphere clean, you got to have a good setup, good telescope, a decent telescope, and there's a super easy way to check that when you are observing an object like for example Jupiter planet and with an eyepiece like this one a 9 millimeters you see Jupiter very well in your eyepiece then you can push it with a barlow if by the opposite you watching from this eyepiece and you see a blurred Jupiter which is not nice to see forget to use the barlow because the barlow will increase the planet but also all those defects that you have while watching through the eyepiece so just use the barlow wisely and you'll be fine now let's see how to use and connect the barlow with a camera for example this cwo 224 so now the things get a bit tricky if you have any doubt please feel free to leave a comment below or visit any of my live streams where I'll be glad to help you. The camera ZWO224 has a thread, a female thread, which is M42. The M42, sometimes there are barlows like this one, that has a male thread M42. So you can use it like this, screwing 
the Barlow directly to the camera. This is one way to do it. And if your Barlow doesn't have that feature, no problem. You can use the adapter, the nose that came already with the camera ZWO in a box, which is M42 also, and you can screw to the camera. And then, with the Barlow, which doesn't have the thread, the female thread, you insert into the Barlow, like this. And then, of course, the Barlow inside the focuser. The same thing happened as with the eyepieces. The more you apart the Barlow lens from the sensor, the more magnification you will have. Now let's increase a bit the level of this. I will show you how I use these two inch Barlows, which I recommend. I always recommend using two inch everything. And of course, being a two inch, and this is M42, you, you will have to use an adapter. I use an M42 male thread adapter to female M48. Using this adapter, this simple adapter, everything that will enter here, like filters, barlows, everything will be M48, which is very useful. That's why I use always like this. Besides, I always use uh, IR UV cut filter in my ZWO cameras. So, it's an M48 thread. With the adapter, it will be always like this, stick to the camera. In order to have a stable and fixed position inside the focuser, I also use this piece, which is an extender, a simple extender M48 also. From now, all the, the objects, all the tools will be M48, which is simpler and it will be easier for you to change setups. So like this, I screw the M42 adapter to the camera. In this case, I have the filter, but I could take it off and just use the spacer and the adapter. And like this, I will insert in a two inch barrel. See? This is the best way to do it. And of course, you can do the same with a Televu Power Mate. Like this. See? This is the way to do it. Then insert this in the focuser. You can also unscrew this top part and screw directly here because all of this is M48. See how it is good? But I recommend to use like I use. Just the Barlow and the, the camera like this. The most important piece here is the this simple adapter, this thin adapter, M42 male to M48 female. And as a bonus, if you have a filter wheel with visual filters or filters for astrophotography too. But for visual, if you want to use it and you place the eyepiece inside this, let's say the 9mm from Explore Scientific, like this, and you insert this into the focuser, and guess what? You don't have back focus. You can use the Barlow trick to get back focus. You insert this wheel into the Barlow and you will have the Barlow, the wheel with the filters and the eyepiece. Like this, the Barlow will push the focal plane up so you can catch it even that you haven't before. 
The trade-off too heavy but hey you got many filters here see four filters inside with a barrel of course this is very beautiful but to do all this properly you got to get a good focus you got to know how to properly focus your telescope that's why you should click on this video you see up here to know how to properly do it click to <coughs> Please subscribe and give it a like!